Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, The Catfish Effect and Classroom Competitiveness. Now, let's begin with the story behind the catfish effect. In Norway, live sardines are several times more expensive than frozen sardines. It was said that only one ship could bring live sardines home and that the shipmaster kept his method a secret on how to keep these sardines alive. Only after he died, people found out that there was a catfish in the tank and the sardines try to avoid this predator. The increased level of activity of the sardines and competing for their lives kept them alive. So let's extend this to a classroom setting. One way to increase the competitiveness among students is to post the students' test scores on the whiteboard. So all you have to do is string out the test scores in order from the highest test score to the lowest test score. By stringing the scores out in this manner, you can create a competitive atmosphere for all your students. Since the scores are in order, the highest scoring student feels like they're in first place. Just the same, the third highest score feels like they're in third place. What about the students lagging behind, like this group over here? Now, will all of these students be motivated to improve? Of course not. But maybe some of these students get motivated to do better in class. As a teacher, celebrate the student. You can say, Jared got the highest test score. However, do not point out students who are doing poorly. That will always be wrong. The student that gets the highest score will feel proud and they will want to stay in the lead. Overall, strong competition among classmates will increase student engagement as well as provide intrinsic motivation to do better than their other classmates. In the business world, they call this catfish management. Right now, I want to say thank you for your time. Please subscribe to the channel and click the link for more resources on teaching strategies.